All right, what's good, everybody? First things first, I will ask you not to pay attention to my hair. It's an absolute mess. I'm very aware of it. So we're just going to brush right, back, right past that and get into some infernal knowledge. Welcome, everybody. My name is Lola. I'm a French-Canadian dude from Montreal. I've been playing this game for about three years and a half, and I have currently have 249 KC in the Inferno. I'm standing at rank 7. Um, and uh, after making a bunch of other guys, I am back to make another one and uh share even more knowledge with you guys because uh, it's been you know i've gotten uh, i've gotten better um uh, since the last time this time uh we're gonna go with the f bow aka bofa aka boa ferdinand uh with the crystal armor and uh, i'm gonna take the crystal shield instead of the ellie uh for the people that uh can't afford these things because it is expensive as hell ellie is sitting around 900 mil right now and tivo is around 1.1 bill so um some of you might be wondering why i have 137 prayer right now uh i'm not gonna get into it and explain everything because i've done it in every single one of my other videos so there's gonna be a link in the description um to the playlist of all my previous infernal guides and it's always the first thing that i explain so you go click on them uh of course if you're watching this don't forget to drop a thumbs up uh comment subscribe all that stuff you know i'm a full-time streamer so i'm trying to i'm trying to build a, a little community on youtube too so that's always appreciated very it very much helps with the algorithm um now that being said we're gonna get right into it uh, i brought my little zucky with me today to, to wish me some good luck um we're gonna put our uh, quick prayer to protect from missile and rigor because that's what we're gonna be using uh mostly for the first 34 waves or so i got my pre-pot is an anglerfish divine bastion Another angler fish to get back to 121. Stamina potion, imbued heart, and let's go. Of course, uh, right now in my inventory I have five brews, but uh, if you're if you're you know if you're beginning and it's your first, you're going for your first cave and all that, you might want to bring more. Uh, you might want to bring like you know six or seven, probably seven I would say. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. I'm excited. All right. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to free up an inventory space, right? Because you're going to be using your Bofa, your Blowpipe, which is a, a two-handed thing. And right now I'm wearing my, my Kodai and my Crystal Shield. So what I always do is right off the bat, I click right over there. As soon as my character's on the tile, I drop this. And then I go right here, which is my starting tile for the next 30-something waves. And then you want to freeze the Nibblers. Now these Nibblers, if you're really, if you're really like beginning, beginning... Uh, what they do is that they're going to gnaw at your pillars like that. And once your pillars don't have any energy anymore, they fall down. And you kind of really want to have your pillars in the Inferno because uh, because they're, they're the, the things that allow you to safe spot enemies like I currently am right now. I will do a quick rundown of my tiles uh, like I always do. So these tiles here on the side, they're for Zuck, okay? We don't, they're, we're not going to use these tiles until wave 69. Uh, the tile I'm stepping on right here is a bad safe spot. As you can tell, if I'm standing here, the bat cannot hit me from here. If the bat was where I'm at right now, it would be that tile over there. Now, that tile is the same. Uh, it's the same. So if the bat was over here, I could safe spot it from there. Uh, this tile right here is the tile I'm going to start on uh, on 30 wave 35 and up. Or it really depends on how you play. For some reason, I do that. But technically, it is like 50 and up. Uh, but I do it uh, on 35 and up. Uh, this is called the magic tile. This tile is super important. Look, I'm, li I'm literally going to label it magic. This is really nice. We love that tile. Uh, it's going to come uh, useful, especially in the later waves. Use that tile to align your stacks properly and uh, to corner safe spots enemies that are coming from the, from the east side of your pillar over there. Uh, that about sums it up for now. If ever, uh, if ever there's, there's other tiles um that become useful i will explain them like this one right here if you're standing right here you can uh, barrage the nibblers around your pillar over there and this tile i'm gonna i'm gonna mark it for now uh because uh because i'm not on zuck yet but i'm on zuck i'm gonna remove it but if you're standing here you can uh you can hit nibblers that are on your pillar without being seen by enemies that are on the south side uh this is uh where i start for single jads. this is where i start for triple jads and this i have no idea why i marked this tile so we're probably not, not going to use it because I never go on South Pillar. So we're just going to get into it. We're going to start killing this bat. I'm going to mark this tile and start starting tile. Just to... Okay. The so wave two, it's only two bats. 
with some nibblers so we get ready to freeze the nibblers always at the beginning of the wave now for the nibblers okay i use split xp drops so that's what i'm going to teach you guys i know some people like they really don't like split xp drops or whatever but that's what i've always used so for the nibblers if with your ice barrage you hit 100 and uh, 111 that means you killed all of them uh if you hit 91 that means you killed two of them or the equivalent of two of them and if you hit 71 that means one of them is frozen and or dead okay so it's not necessary to know that but those, those are very useful tips because that way it, it allows you to say like if if let's say so you know you need 91 to, to to hit at least two of them right so if ever your xp drop is 96 then you know that all three of them are going to be frozen because they have been affected because the equivalent of more than two have been affected by the freeze so then you know it, it allows you to just uh uh plan your strategy like are you gonna go back behind your pillar right away are you gonna throw another freeze uh and stuff like that so that's why that's why i uh i share that knowledge with you guys so we're safe spotted uh we're gonna kill the bats very easy like that switch to our maze gear step on our starting tile now three is only nibblers want to make sure I always prioritize the ones that are you see like i have this one's alive but i definitely want to prioritize the one that's going on my pillar okay so next wave we got the blobs that come into play uh so what you want to do is i do protect from missile at the beginning of the wave then i i throw my freeze on the nibbler okay so see they're all frozen so i'm gonna take a second i'm gonna take a second here i'm gonna go right there i don't think i can hit them without stepping out i will explain the blob mechanics in a second All right, so the blobs, how they work? When they first see you, okay? So on the first tick that they see you, by the way, if you don't know what a tick, a tick is, do exclamation um, flick guide in my Twitch chat. You will get a brilliant one tick flicking guide. Um, that'll also be very useful and way more than the Inferno. I'm also gonna put it in the description, uh, the link. So if you wanna go check that out, that's also very valid. So now the blobs. So every, basically a tick is every time, you see every time that little line goes from left to right, that's a tick. One, two three four one two this is how the game is divided this is how this game works okay a tick is like 0.6 seconds i believe so uh this is how everything is calculated in this game now the blobs when they see you on the f on the first tick that they see you they're gonna analyze the prayer that you have up so let's say i step out of the pillar i'm praying range okay so on the first tick the blob sees okay he's praying range so then two ticks so then two ticks later so it says range one Two, and then on the third tick, it's going to attack me for the opposite. So it's going to attack me mage. And then two ticks after that, it's going to scan again. So it goes scan, two, three, attack, two, three. So I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you without killing it right there. I'm just going to step out, okay? So I step out, range, two, three, attack, two, three. Scan, two, three, attack, two, three. Scan, two, three, attack, two, three. Scan, two, three, attack, two, three. Three, so we can even flick them. Two, three, without ever using any prayer. Two, three. Scan, two, three. Attack, two, three. Scan, two, three. Attack, two, three. So this is how blobs work, okay? I'm not gonna go deeper into that. You can rewind that video. You can slow it down if you wanna see the movement, but that's basically how they work, okay? So we're gonna keep going. Now, when you kill a blob from the south side of the pillar like that, okay? You wanna kill it exactly from the tile I'm at. And when they die, you don't have to move nowhere because what they do is they spawn three little blobs. One is range, one is melee, one is mage, okay? And they all attack you at the same time. But when you kill it from here, look, there's a nifty little trick. Only the ranger can attack you. Okay, now ranger is dead. I'm going to step behind. Because otherwise the, the, the melee would have the melee would have stepped there. And then I would have to deal with the, the melee and the mage. Although, trust me, if you're using this gear, like you... You can really tank all of them at once. I'm just trying to teach you like more advanced techniques to deal with them so that you're never going to take any damage from these guys. So if, you kill, if we kill them from the south, we kill them from the west side, we don't move. Okay, next wave. Pray, pray range. Get the freeze ready. Two. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to come right here, okay? There was different ways to deal with this wave, of course. There's always going to be different ways to deal with all the waves. Feel free to drop them in the comments, you know, like other ways you could have dealt with the wave. Most of the time I see all of them, 
I just can't explain all of them at once because because obviously, you know, I'm not like a multi-phased alien or something. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I killed the blob, I was standing here, right? And when it died, I made sure to stand right here that way. The little blob, the little red blob that spawned right there, it was corner safe spotted. Corner safe spots is something that's very, very, very useful and very important in the Inferno. And you will see later on. So I'm going to go right here. Bat safe spot. I'm going to kill this bat. Bats, you can pray range against them. They're not going to hit you. They hit every three ticks. But they will drain your stamina through prayer. All right, back to our starting tile. Pray range. Get the freeze ready. Okay, so 100. I know, I know they're all frozen. All right. Now, there's a, there's a less scientific way to deal with the blobs. Okay, if ever you don't want to be counting ticks, what you can do is that you know that it's going to scan you. Okay, you don't, whatever. Like, it's going to scan you. And then as soon as it attacks, basically, it's going to scan you. You switch to the other prayer right away. And as soon as it, as it attacks, you switch back to the, the, the initial prayer. And then, and then you just like, you, you can just like get a feel of it, right? You don't have to always like count the ticks and all that stuff. Because you do have like two ticks between the scan and the attack. So there's a way to do it like without, without counting the ticks. So don't, don't like, don't overthink it, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two okay now um there's another way to deal with these guys you can one take alternate flick the reason why i do the one two three one two three instead of just one take alternate flicking is that it saves prayer so i go like one two three one two three so my prayer never goes down like that right whereas if i was alternate one take flicking it would go like one two three one two three and then my prayer point would eventually go down like that and that's all personal preferences. Obviously, one take alternate flicking is also a major, major key in the Inferno because uh, it allows you to flick these guys with uh, other bigger mobs like the Rangers and the Majors that we're going to see later. And, uh, and that becomes like, once you unlock that knowledge and you understand and it clicks, Inferno is easy. So I'm going to do the one take alternate flick. I step out. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you just alternate every single flick. Now, once again, when it dies, we don't move. Because it, it aligns perfectly like that when you kill it from there. Switch to my mage break because I know it's the one that's still standing. Kill it. Alright, seven is two blobs. Free range. Yeah, I'm good here. Now I see it saw me. I'm going to switch to mage. Go like that. Switch to mage. Now, when you kill it from there, you want to step on the magic tile after that because you see it's the same thing as when I showed you on the other pillar. The little melee is, is corner safe spotted, so it can't hit you. So you're only dealing with the you're only dealing with the major and the ranger, so less chance of taking damage. And plus they stay clung together, which is also important. If I had been like, for example, there, the, the range and the major would have been there, and the melee would have been on me. So like my, my barrage wouldn't have been hitting all of them. And once again, I kill this guy. Two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and it's dead. Free range. You know that. Now next wave is only nibblers. And after that, the melees are gonna come into play. The melees are the melees are particular, but once you know how to deal with them, trust me, they're definitely not as bad as as the bats or the blobs. So put my mage gear on. Get my ice barrage ready. Okay, this one got away. I want to. I want to focus on it. Okay, these guys are tanky. Now, by the way, until wave fifty, you're not gonna wear your crystal shield at the beginning of the waves. Now, melee's come into play, so it's only nibblers and melee. I don't need to pray anything at the beginning of the wave. Let's go over some melee theory right there. Real quick. So melees, you can safe spot them from a, from a couple different places. If you're standing here where I'm at, on the south side of the pillar, you can safe spot them if, if they're standing here or if they're standing here, okay? Now, melees, every 30 game ticks or so, they dig to, to, to go to where you are. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait right now so you see, uh, you see an example of them digging. And then I'll show you another safe spot for them. So once they dig, I'm going to go here on the west side of my pillar because you can also safe spot them if, if they're here. Or here from that side of the pillar 
You can safe spot them from here or from here, but there's other ways to safe spot them. So let's say I was here, okay? I'm gonna wait for it to dig, and then I'm gonna show you what, how, what a corner safe spot is and how it works, for the melees at least. We're gonna wait for this guy. Hello? Sir? Okay, so it digs. So now what I can do is I can step on that top. So you see now, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, it's corner safe spotted. This works for every single enemy, okay? If you're standing on that tile here and the enemy is here, they're not gonna be able to attack you. Now, most of the enemies are ranged, so what, you, what I'm gonna show you next only works for the melees. So for the melees, you can go down one tile, two tiles, and three tiles. And you see how like that tile is still holding it around the pillar? So if I go down another tile, I won't be able, it's gonna go around the corner. Now, we're gonna talk about their attack cycles, okay? One, two, three, four. Every mob in the Inferno has a four tick attack cycle. So this is the first tick, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So the one is when it moves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you wanna lazy flick them, which is a lot easier than one tick flicking to save prayer, all you gotta do is have your prayer on on four, you turn it off on one, four. One, two, three. Three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. Okay. So that's 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 pretty much the melee crash course. Okay. Now uh, I told you they dig up around every uh, 30, uh, 30 um, game takes. If ever they hit you, it resets the timer. That's about it. We're going to keep going. See, it dug here. I could either go top here and safe spot it, but most of the time you kind of want to have the habit of staying north of your pillar. That's going to be important on later waves because you're going to have a lot more mobs to deal with. So you're, you'd rather be like hidden behind your pillar like that. Okay, let's keep going. 112, that means they're all dead. I'm good. I don't want to deal with the bat right now, so I'll just deal with this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and it's dead. Go here. I go here, we kill this guy. We're freeze ready. 112, that means all three of them are dead. I'm waiting for my bat here. Now bats, I want to flick them with the my my quick prayer like that. That way, you know. I can uh, take advantage of the rigor uh, attack bonus. Obviously, I could do that here too. There's nothing else can attack me. Uh, I could take advantage of that. This is the advantage of one-tip flicking in the Inferno is that you can use your quick prayer. So you're both protecting and using rigor at the same time. That saves a lot of time. And uh, it can get you out some really tricky situations because uh, sometimes you're in situations where you have to deal a lot of damage for a mob to kill, die like as fast as possible. But yeah. Uh, okay, now 12. There's a blob that's going to spawn with my melee, so I'm going to pray range at the beginning of the wave. It scanned me. I switched to mage. Did it time me? I switched range. Scan me. I switched to mage. Okay, now there's a couple things I could do. I could keep flicking it and just kill my melee from here. But if you don't want to, if you're not like comfortable dealing with the blob, then just go over here. Okay, I, I, I went a little too fast. I should have flicked it one more time. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now, you remember when you killed that guy from over here, how only the, the little ranger can attack you when it dies? So if it's on the, the, the west side of the pillar like that, and you're on the east side, you can do the same thing from here. Two, three, one, 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 two, three. Okay. Cool. See? 141, that means they're all dead for these little guys. Hundred and six. I mean I froze both of them, but they're not dead. So I'm gonna keep praying against my bat. And I'm just gonna go get it. Like honestly, I don't exactly know what the range is. I just kind of like got an eye for it now. So I'm gonna kill the bat before my melee digs. Which is, you know, like in that gear. In that gear, if you're max stats and all that, you really don't have to worry about. 
Now, what I'll do here, I can wait for the melee to dig. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flick the blob while hitting the melee. And if the melee digs, I'll be able to corner safe spot it. That way it'll be even more relaxed. Just like that. I won't even have to pray nothing. Or I can resort to, to one tick flicking with my quick prayer to deal more damage and get it down faster. Otherwise, I could have waited for it. It's just I would have had to pray melee against the melee. And now I can just get the relax. Corner safe spots. Super, super, super important. Now, I'm going to kill this guy. Hundred eleven. That means two of them are dead. Okay. Going. So I like my magic tile here. See, I could have I could have flicked my blob, but whatever. I was busy. I was busy trying to explain. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna flick my melee and kill my uh, bat, and then I'll kill my melee. Two, three, four. Always really important. For the, the attack cycle, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So when they move is the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the four tick attack cycle is for the melees, the majors, and the rangers. Of course, we haven't seen the rangers yet. We're about to see them in the three, four waves. Now we will see. So knowing that is very important. Knowing their attack cycles, knowing what, how, how to identify when it's the one, uh, when the attack cycle starts, that's major keys. One. Two, three. One, two, three, one. Push our mage gear. Heal. The mage to protect and kill. Okay. Are we gonna have a melee and two blobs? I believe. Oh, cool, perfect. See that see that spawn? I'm just gonna pray melee. I'm just gonna pray melee. 73, that means that guy's not dead, so I'm just gonna focus on the one that's on my pillar always. I can lazy flick the melee. Three. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Funny, someone just followed my stream while I was offline. I just got the notification. <laughs> so I'm using OBS to I'm using OBS to record this guide. So not to ever just followed uh, while I was doing this. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna kill this guy from uh, over here because, I, like I said, you kind of want to have the habit of always playing like along the north of your pillar, uh, because uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be very uh, good in the later waves. I'm gonna flick. Once it dies, we don't forget. We step on the magic tile. I certainly won't. I've done this a couple of times. Not my first rodeo. Hey, come on, man. That's a super tanky blob. <laughs> okay, so I go here. I like to pre-range uh, for the little blobs because I, I wear my mage gear. So I guess my mage defense is probably better. All right. Now, um, here, I'm just kind of going to have to tank the little guy while I, I, I pray against the, the big guy. But you see how the blob is corner safe spotted here? This is what the magic tile is for. Corner safe spotting mobs like that so you don't have to deal with them. One, two, three, four, two. Okay, perfect. The little melee uh, ended up not moving. So once this guy dies, I'll go back on the on the magic tile, and everything is gravy, baby. I'm able to kill all of them, all of them at once. Kill the little major. Ooh, little hiccups right here. All right. So wave sixteen. That's two melees. It's very easy. Very easy. If you know how to pray uh, melee, you should be fine. You should be fine. So we're going to go get our, our Nibbler. We got some times. Now the melee, one thing that's fun about the melees is when they're safe spotted on the pillar like that, you can step away up to three tiles before, they, uh, before they're able to, to go uh, through uh, and, uh, you know, break the safe spot. So that's something uh, good to know, which you now know. I'm just going to kill them. I can one tick flake once again my, uh, my, uh, my rigor. Even though I don't need to protect or anything, it's for the damage, it's always fun. But also, it's really not necessary if you just want to take your time. And not like, you know, some people are more like prone to like carpal tunnel and things like that. So I would get it if you just want to recline. But for the sake of this guide, I will uh, try and speed things up a little bit. I've been taking my time already. Plenty enough. Plenty enough. Plenty enough. 
Okay, so 17 is only Nibblers, and then after that, the Rangers are coming into play. So basically, when you got an only Nibbler wave, you know that the, that means a new mob is coming next, next, uh, next wave. It's kind of like in the 5Ks when you have like double, uh, double uh, mob waves, like that. So, from now on, we're always going to pre-range at the beginning. Ranger attack cycle. Three, four. When it ducks, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. Pay attention to it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm, I'll bring it a little closer. That way we can see it better. So once again, pay attention. You have to, you have to have your prayer up on four, and you turn it off on one. Okay, so it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, or you can just one tick flick it just like that with your um with your quick prayer. Okay, I'm gonna go kill the bat. Although I wouldn't like I don't have to let the bat hit me here. I could definitely go here in the safe spot while I uh while I lazy flick my ranger. Uh although once again, you know, like it's not like you're you're gonna need that much of your stamina. So I just wanted to show you a different solve. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for this guy to come to the pillar, step out, mess it up. One, two, three, four. 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 See what I was doing there with a the little alternate flick. That's how you would have uh, flicked if you were dealing with a ranger and a blob. You'll see. Oh my god, my freezes are clutch as hell. My freezes are clutch as hell on this run. I'm gonna kill the bat first. Now, if I was standing on that corner tile, I would have been able to corner safe spot it, but whatever. I didn't need to because there wasn't any other mobs uh, that I needed to deal with at the moment. So that was a more than, uh, you know, uh, how do you say that? Valid. Oh. Once again, bad safe spot from here. We can't get hit. Back to our starting tile, the maze gear, prey range, get the freeze ready. Okay, now's where the fun begins. So you remember how I told you to memorize their, their attack cycle? One, two, three, four. That's because when you flick, there's a way, okay, that right now I wouldn't have to do it. Clearly I could just like kill the ranger over here and then deal with the blob, right? But there is a way to protect against both, against both the blob and the ranger at the same time. So here how, here how, here's how it goes. Basically, you don't care about the blob attack cycle. You only care about the ranger attack cycle. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's a chance that the blob hits you once, right? Depending on like when you step out in the ranger attack cycle. But if you're one tick flicking properly and you're protecting against the ranger at the right moment, it can only hit you once. Then it's going to fall back in line. Okay, so I'm going to do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna step on the magic tile while I kill it. Obviously, I was only doing this for the purpose of demonstration because in this case, like I was saying, uh, I could have just killed the I would have just killed the ranger first and then I would have dealt with the blob, right? But that was for the um, that was for the um, you know for the sake of science. But once again, it goes like this. So instead of two, three. Four, one, two, three. So instead of turning it off, the one is when you switch to the other prayer. One, two, three, four. Et voila. Go back to our starting tile. Go back to our starting tile. Pray range. I'll go right here on my magic tile. Pray against the blob because I saw it. Now, I'm going to go over here. Get my nibbler. Cool, it's dead. So from here, I can move like that so that the bat, you see the magic tile? That's what I mean by it's, it's used to realign your stacks. Now I can do a bunch of things here. I could kill the bat and then get into a one tick flick with the, the, the Jalak and the Jalzil, the Blob and the Ranger. But what I'm going to do, since I, we have both of them, we're going to use it right, uh, is I'm going to stand in the bat safe spot and I'm going to lazy flick the Ranger while killing it, okay? So I'm going to go here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I know this is a Bofa run, but you're still, honestly, you're mostly going to use your Blowpipe still. Although, if you have a Corrupted Bow and you're Iron Man, I get it. Like, you probably want to use your Bofa as much as possible because Dragon Darts and Amethyst Darts are super uh, a pain in the ass to get and all that. So, um, but otherwise, otherwise, technically the Blowpipe is still better DPS on most mobs. Uh, it's just that you're going to use it for, for long range situations. But you could do all, everything I'm doing right now, you could do it only using your Bofa. Uh, it doesn't have to be the Blowpipe. Blowpipe is nice for the spec and everything, but you can definitely both of the whole thing. Actually, I'm trying both as much as I can. Why not? Why not? The both of guys. We pre range when you kill it from there. 111, that means two of them are dead. That means I can just pretty much assume that I can switch to my, uh, to my mage, uh, prey. Okay, dead. Back here, prey range. One, two, three, four. Now see what, see what I did there? Like, I started counting right away. As soon as I saw the, 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 um, what the, the ranger attacked. I started counting, even though like it wasn't really in my, it wasn't really in my in my sight like my line of sight anymore. As soon as you see the ranger, you can start counting to four. One, two, three, 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 four. See what I'm doing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna I'm not I'm not gonna kill this guy. I'm just gonna pray against it while my ranger gets a little closer. Because I do want to kill the blob on the on the west side of the pillar so that I can have that neat little stack where only the ranger can attack me. The ranger blob. So right now I'm going to kill this guy with my bofa. Take it easy. I could definitely one tick flick uh, with the rigor to get it down a little faster. All right. Going to kill the bat from the safe spot. Easy peasy. The reason why I flick my rapid heal all the time is that if your HP is above 99, so basically when that when that bar goes down, that's when you lose the HP. So that resets it. See, notice. So I just do that to, to keep my prayer, uh, my um my HP as high as possible. Range. Right. Going. That's a good spawn for 24. <laughs> That's a good spawn for 24. We, you know what? We take those, man. We take those. So I'm going to try and kill my, my nibblers. Always uh, have the focus on that until they're dead. Then obviously. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, it's dead. Voila. I'm gonna go kill our. I'm gonna go kill our blobs. Click. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. One is dead. Magic tile. Free range. Switch our mage gear. Et voila. Perfect. So I'm gonna do like I did earlier. I'm gonna step out. So I. Click one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Dead magic tile pre range. Maybe like flick a little augury if you feel if you feel saucy like that. Definitely don't have to. Definitely don't have to. Push my blood spells. I'll step away. That's also a good. Uh, I could have just clicked on it, but that's also a good reflex to have. Is to step away from the corner before you attack. Otherwise, in the many situations, you can just get dragged out. And uh, right now, it would have would have been fine. But in other situations, it would have been messy. One, two, three, four. 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 Pay attention to the ranger's attack cycle. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Super easy. Super easy. Hey, voila. Now, I like I like healing to 99. It's not necessary, but I'm still gonna do it because I can. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, my nose is scratchy there. I don't know why. I feel like I'm, I'm starting to have allergies as I get older. <laughs> I'm just sad. I'm crying, guys. All right. Once again, protect from missile. Get our ice barrage ready. Oh, ah, a little misclick. Huh? That, that, that's annoying. 111. I know they're all dead. So what I'm going to do here. If they're over there, you see, I can, like, if you step on the magic tile, you can bring them in range of your attack. So I'm going to switch to my, my Bofa and see what I'm doing there. Instead of just being like, of staying here behind the pillar, I'm just going to be right here. That way, if ever the melee digs, I'll be able to corner safe spot it. And I'm going to be able to keep hitting my melee. Once again, that's not like 100% necessary. A couple other things you could have done here. I could have gone like just over here. I could have prayed melee. Oh, well, it dug. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I could have gone here. I could have killed the bat and the melee while uh, flicking, uh, flicking the melee. Uh, but I decided to just deal with it the way I dealt with it. Obviously, there's always, like I said, there's always a bunch of different solves for every waves. Uh, that's why I'm doing, honestly, that's why I'm doing a whole bunch of guides. Uh, I do, I feel like I do go over the same things uh, very often, but at the same time, it's always different, uh, different uh, scenarios. So, so this is why I'm doing this. Also, because I love it. I get lots of really good feedback on the guys all the time. People pull up to the Twitch and they're like, yo... I got my inferno cave it's all because of you and everything honestly i always feel like a i i understand teachers now you know what i mean i understand teachers now and the the pride that comes with it and the shout out to all my students uh, all over the world ciao again baby i appreciate y'all it really warms my heart when somebody comes through drops the prime and they're like hey man i just got my inferno cave <laughs> thank you buddy i'm like man it's all you but thank you thank you for saying that all right so uh here okay so i, I think i could do here okay that's kind of like a, an orthodox solve kind of but I, i'm gonna pray melee and I'm going to go right over here behind the pillar. I'm going to go right over here. That way, see? The bats are safe spotted. And I can just flick my, my melee. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. While I kill at least one of the bats. I could kill the melee first, too. It's just because me, when I learned the Inferno, the bats could hit you through prayer. That's why, like, I have the reflex of really, like, really trying to tank the bats as, as, as little as possible, right? And also, I guess it's, it is a little annoying when they drain, like, your whole stamina. So I'm going to switch to range, obviously. Is the melee dead? So that's the kind of solves that, that the, the West Pillar is, is useful for. But it's really not, like, like I said, it's a bit unorthodox. Uh, there's another better way we could have dealt with this, and it, it's to flick the, the ranger and the, the melee. But I'll get, I'll get on that later. It's going to happen. I'll show you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three three four okay so i will okay i will give a little bit of theory about that so you know how like if i had stood there i, I would have been able to, to pray against my my ranger here and the melee would have been on the way there now since i don't know exactly what tick it would have it would have gotten on me right there's a possibility too that i would have been on the same tick in which case i would have to reevaluate the situation but since i don't know what i can do is you know how you lazy flick like that one two three four one two three four but instead of turning it off i could have just done with two three Four. One, two, three, four. That way I know I only pray on the tick that I need to to protect against the range. And then I don't need to know exactly what tick the melee is going to be on because the rest of the time I'm always protecting melee. So that's uh, that's why I call the, the reverse alternate flick. I don't know why. That's just how I call it. Um, so yeah, the reverse lazy flick. My bad. Okay. Or should I call it the multiple lazy flick? Doesn't matter in the end. <laughs> A name is just a name. Okay, we go back to our starting tile. Pray range. Get the barriers ready. We cool. See, I got the melee's gonna stay behind my uh, my my uh, my ranger like that. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill this guy because I don't have plenty of time to kill it. And um, yeah, that'll be that. I could also like just go here and start like killing the the melee or the ranger first, and then when the melee digs, I could corner safe spot it. Uh, so again, always a lot of variety in the solves. It really depends on what makes you feel more comfortable. But sometimes it is nice to get rid of the melee first, because uh, then you know you don't have to worry about uh, about this guy. I'm gonna flick my blob. I'm gonna flick my blob. Kill the. Okay.
Now once again, I'll refresh. If you're wondering, like, how does he know when the like when the one, two, three, four is? It's the little you see the little bar on my prayer bar. One, two, three, four. So every every single one of these left to right is one tick. So that's how I know. In case it wasn't clear enough. Okay, magic tile. I was a little late on there. See, I was uh, I was definitely late. So now they're separated. That's fine, man. I'll survive this. I shall survive this. All right, so I'm gonna switch to light mage. Also, another important piece of advice that I remember my, my boy Ottawa told me back in the day is if you're praying against something in the Inferno, you attack something else. In that case, I was praying mage, so I killed the, I killed the melee first. Your range, barrage, boom. I'm gonna flick that blob. Make sure my nibblers are dead first. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here, one, two, three, four. 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 One. So the one, two, three, four is based. Is really based on the on the ranger's attack cycle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is once again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you're focusing on the range of attack cycle, you'll always be fine. You'll always be fine. Like I said, the blob can only hit you once. Now you see, I'm one tick flicking, and I know that the blob is hitting me mage. So two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We go. Uh, we know we kill that blob first. Normally, I would have killed the ranger probably, but I'm gonna show you something nice. So if you kill them like not around the pillar, you're gonna step to their corner tile when they die. So just like that, that we see, they're all stacked up. They're all stacked up. We all good. We all good. I'm praying mage, so we cool. My blowpipe kill this little guy. And then we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go kill. The big ranger out here. Wave 30, 31 can be tricky. It really depends. If you know how to I one take alternate fleet, most of the time you're gonna be gravy. Range, barrage. I'm going with my magic tile. Here, see, I could cast like a free off hook. <laughs> I misclicked. Okay, well, then what I'll do is I'll switch to my blowpipe. I'll just kill the bat as fast as I can. Maybe drop a little blowpipe spec on it. Like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I know I'm going to tank a few range hits, but I will go get my nibbler because we're still early in the waves. I, I, I decided to tank a few. You know what? Sometimes you got to tank a few hits, man. So after that, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna step on my corner, uh, on my bad safe spots. I'll pray against my blob. That way when the melee digs, see, I can just go right here. I can just go right here. I got a corner safe spotted. And then I can kill it while, uh, while flicking the blob. Obviously, once again, there were more like scientific ways to, to deal with that wave, but I just want to, you know, show you how maybe you guys are gonna be, uh, you're gonna be solving these waves or, also, because I've been, I've been doing, like, Inferno. I've been trying to get an Inferno cave on a level 64, uh, one defense account. And uh, I just really enjoy now when I'm on the main. I try to I tank as many shit as I can, because I just can. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, that's why sometimes I'm just like, fuck it, I'll take a couple of hits. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now, once again, I could kill this guy from here. Uh, but I already showed you that, so I'm just going to kill it from the, from the north side. And then when it dies, you step on the corner tile once again because that way they're all stacked up with each other. And your barrage hits your barrage hits all three of them. Okay. Range. You can pray agree on wave 31 because it's a double blob wave, but you'll be fine. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna go right here, pray against the melee. We're gonna kill the melee. And kill the melee and then we're good. We're gonna deal with the rest of our our wave after that. Alright, perfect. 
Now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you how to flinch in case uh, you know like you feel like you're never gonna be ever comfortable with the uh, one tick flicking. So what you can do, okay, is basically uh, I'm gonna teach you a regular flinch and then I'm gonna teach you a zero a zero prayer flinch, okay? So I'm gonna attack the ranger and of course I want to pray range first because that the ranger is gonna me right away. And then I'm gonna do pr click pre range step back pre mage, okay? So I'm gonna click pre range step back pre mage for the blob, okay? That's a regular flinch. So once again, click, pre range, step back, pre mage. Now, that's like the that's like the basic way to do it. Now you know how we do one, two, three, one, two, three when we zero pair flick the blobs? We can do this but while flinching too. So that's how I'm gonna switch to my bofa. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that way I use zero prayer. One, two, three, one, two. Three. Maybe you're doing it on a super low uh, low level build like me. I have only have 43 prayer on my on my on my pure account. So these are very useful. Even though I know how to one tick flick pr pr perfectly, that helps save a lot of prayer. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Three. All right. So that's a, that's a flinch. That's a flinch. One, two, three, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, three. Okay. So once again, I could do that. I could do this with this mob too. I'm gonna want to pray mage first because I know it's a little major that's there. So I'm gonna click on it. Mage. One, two, three, one. Two, three, I'm protected against the attack. So it's like flinching 101, pretty much. The back. That way I'm isolating the major from the melee. Kill melee and then kill major. Beautiful. So next wave is easy. I believe it is one ranger, two melees. We pre range. He's ready. Boom. 88, 98. I know they're all frozen, but they're not all dead. But I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray melee right here, and then I'm gonna get these guys from the from the nibbler safe spot tile. Oh, still not dead. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now we know that eventually the other melee is gonna dig. But for now, I can lazy flick them, but it doesn't mean they're gonna be on the same tick. Although in this case, they would have been on the same tick because they dug at the same time. So if you want to know, if you want to know if a melee is gonna be on the same tick as let's say the ranger or the the ranger or the major that's that's attacking you right now, is that if they dig on the same on the same tick as they attack, so you know the the number the one tick. If the melee digs at the same time as that one tick, so let's say in that case, if the melee dug like now, two, three, four, now, that means they're gonna be on the same tick. If they dig at any other time, that means they're gonna be on a different tick, and then you can use the reverse uh, lazy flicking technique that I showed you. So I could have gone like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I wouldn't have to worry about exactly one tick is gonna fall on, you know? All right. Thirty-three to two rangers. That's super easy. If you know how to pre range, you should be fine. If you don't buy that, if you made it that far without knowing how to pre range, <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. You might be better than I am. So you see how? Okay, so you see how I went on my nibbler safe spot tile there, and that guy attacked me. I knew it. That was gonna happen because you really gotta wait for them to be like past that line here. So you need to like they need their first square on their left. They need to be past that line to be able not to see you, okay? That's why I prayed I prayed the range, even though I knew I was going on the nibbler quote unquote safe spot tile. And that's why the magic tile is also very useful in later waves.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, because there's a little errand I have to run. I just got a, I just got a text message uh, about it. So I'm gonna hit the logout button, okay, guys. When you when you hit the log logout button at the end of the of a wave, what it, uh, at it during a wave, my bad. What it does is at the end of that wave, the inferno is gonna be paused, okay. Now when that happens, you don't want to forget. You don't want to forget the the supplies that you drop here before you log out. Otherwise, you're gonna lose them. Trust me, it happens to everyone. It happens countless of times. So I'm gonna do it right away. Actually, no, I'm just not gonna forget. Okay, so I'm gonna kill this guy. Kill this guy. Okay, so now you see the inferno is gonna be paused. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back to liberate that uh, inventory slot, and I will pick up my super restore. And then when I log back in, I'm gonna be exactly there. So I'll be able to just redrop my super restore, get back into position. We're gonna keep going. So I'll be right back, guys. Obviously, you won't you you won't know because I'm just gonna splice uh, the video uh, when I edit it. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Give me a second. All right, guys, we back. Um, Let's just keep going without further ado. Logging back in. Uh, I'm gonna drop my super restore right here like I had it earlier. Oh wait, okay, no, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what wave I was on. I wasn't sure if it was 35 or uh, 34, 35. So 34, only the blur is pretty relaxed. And now after this guys, me from 35 and up, I start on this style, okay? You protect magic from here on because we have the majors that are now coming to play with us. Now, we love those guys. Let me tell you why. It's not true. We don't particularly love them, actually. <laughs> okay, so. Um, quick thing to think about. Change your uh, your quick prayer to protect from magic and rigor from here on. Don't do like me. I always forget to do that. And then I take a bunch of damage. And it sucks. So, majors. Uh, they have a special mechanic. Just like the melees. And it's that when you are in their line of sight. That I means when they're, they're able to attack you, when they're currently attacking you, they are able to revive um, all of the mobs that you previously killed in the same wave as them. They can revive them once only. So if, let's say, you have a, have a melee with a major, I kill the melee first, the major can bring back that melee, but only once, and they bring it back, they bring it back um, from the middle of the map, and they bring it back with half their HP. So that's all you need to know about the majors. We're gonna first analyze its attack cycle, so don't forget, one two three four one two three four as you see the one is when it's flashing and there's a sound too you hear the sound that's the one one two three four and it's flashing underneath uh underneath its body two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four Right. So that's it for the that's it for the majors. That's pretty much all the theory you need to know. Uh, like I said, you can keep you can keep starting on the um, on the same tile you were at the beginning up until wave fifty if you want. I don't know why I just kind of took the habit of doing that, uh, but there's absolutely no science behind it. But from wave waves fifty up, though, there is a reason why you want to start there. So what I'm gonna do here, I don't want to kill the bat right away because because uh, uh, the the majors are gonna respawn. So I'm gonna step here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna give you a better view. I tend never to change the angle of my camera when I do the Inferno. But right now, the reason why I'm doing it is to show you guys uh, its attack cycle a little better. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, obviously, if you had a T-Bow, this is where you'd be using your T-Bow. Uh, as you know, they have a great magic resistance, so the T-Boat totally shreds them. Uh, but Bofa is great, honestly. Bofa isn't that much worse than T-Boat. To be honest, it attacks faster, the range is the same, which is pretty much what we want, mostly. And, uh, yeah! So, let's keep going. Your mage, you still don't wear your crystal shield at the beginning, you're fine. Okay, so you see here, I gotta wait a little bit before I can, I can go in my Nibbler safe spot tile. Because otherwise the Major would have been able to see me. So now, now I'm going to be safe. So I'll be able to pray range, get the Nibbler on my pillar. 
and deal with the rest of the nibblers. I'm gonna one tick flick the bat so it's not to so it's not to waste too much prayer. Now I'm gonna have to kill this bat because uh, if I want to kill the major, I'm gonna have to kill this bat. It's okay. Honestly, unless you're speed running, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you respawn things um, in the wave. But still, as a rule of thumb, three three. As a rule of thumb, we're uh, always gonna try and kill the major first. Now you see how like it interrupted its attack cycle. To, to like turn around and revive the the bat so if i had never you it doesn't technically it's gonna attack again on the same tick as it should so if you never break your flick cycle it'll be it'll always be fine so don't panic because it's doing that just keep flicking at the same speed as you were normally and you'll be fine i'm gonna one tick flick like that to do a little more damage get through this a little quicker Wait for these little baddies. This one, half HP because it was revived by the Major. Mage. Get them. 102. I know they're all frozen, but they're not all dead, though. I'm going to wait right, right here. I was just in range to finish it off. Now we're going to get into a one-tick flick with these two guys. Either the one-tick flick, or remember, you can also flinch them. Except when you flinch, you're going to start with mage this time because the major is here. So if I flinch, I do one, two, three, one, two, three. Or if you want to play safe and you don't want to like calculate the ticks like that, you pray mage, you hit, you step back, you pray, you pray range. So I'm going to one-tick flick them uh, so you understand how it works. Once again, pay attention to the major's attack cycle. So you click, pray mage, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Of course, you kill the major first because we don't want the blob to revive. Right, I know how to deal with the blobs. I don't need to explain. I'm just gonna do it. Now, see, since I liberated, uh, since I used one of my brews, I can go back and uh, pick up my uh, my last super restores on the ground. I used one of my super restores. My bad. I can go pick that one up. That way, I won't have uh, you know any bad surprises um, by you know if ever I need to log out again or something like that. Uh, I won't forget it on the ground. That's cool. That's out of our minds. We don't need to think about that anymore. Your mage. Ice ready. Okay, so here. I could go right here. And uh, I'm basically... Look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to kill the nibbler. But then I'm basically just going to go here and pray, and pray, uh, pray mage. And remember the reverse lazy flick. I'm going to do that to, to get as, as little damage from the bat as possible. Um... And yeah, I knew I was going to be able to tank that bat. Worst case, uh, worst case, I would it would have dealt a little damage on me. But it was either tank the bat or tank the blob. So in the end, you know, there was no, uh, there wasn't really a winning combo. So it was really personal preferences there. But here I am in a position though to kill the major first. Et voila, I'm gonna heal on this guy. Heal on this guy as much as I can. Okay, so I'm gonna pray. Look, I'm gonna pre range. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. That way, I won't have to think about it anymore. I won't have to think about it anymore. Now I'm gonna go over there. Okay, I'm gonna pre mage. I'm just gonna go get my nibbler. Like that. Get my nibbler. Get the other nibbler. Be fine. Not yet. I'm gonna go get it. Perfect. Now we should be good. Switch to Bofa. Kill my major first.
Hey, hello, Jalzeg, die! A little bit noodling on me right now. <laughs> Go right here. Kill the... Kill that guy. You know what's gonna happen is... Uh, once it once it's dead, the bat's gonna be able to hit me, but it's okay because because I'm praying range anyways to kill little guys. But just in case we kill these guys and the major's still up, I'm still gonna move to my bat safe spot. I would like see what happens there. Like here, the the bat would it would oh no yeah never mind. I mean not in that case, but in a lot in a lot of cases when there's not another bat right there, the bat would have been able to like go one square further and would it would have been able to hit me. So that's why I killed it from the the safe spot. Mage, nice barrage. Boom, I'm gonna flick against this blob one time. And now this is a double blob wave. So as long as I sp one, two, three, look at the major, major attack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go back, two, three, four. I'm gonna get this little guy here. Keep bringing against that blob. And then I'm gonna kill the major, the big baller way like that. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Only focus on the major's attack cycle. The worst thing that can happen is the blobs only hit you once. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. That guy from here. Magic tile when it dies. We got the melee corner stay spotted. All right, magic melee, it's obviously very easy. So the thing you can do here, let's say you're not sure that you can reach that guy from here. I'm gonna let the melee hit me once, and as soon as it hits me, on the first tick that it hits me, I can go right back here. Now see how, how I save spot from the corner, from the side. So I can, I can focus on uh, hitting my major first. If my melee digs, I can corner safe spot it. But also what I'm going to do, if it digs, since I want to kill the major first, I'll just run around the I'll just run around the pillar. So I'll just go here, and I'll just go right here. That way that guy's going to be safe spot on the other side, and I can kill my major first. I could also corner safe spot it, kill the melee first. You don't feel too confident. That is more than fine. There is no rush. I'm going to go here. Start hitting him. If it digs, I'm going to go here on the side. Okay, back to our tile, mage, carriage, freeze. I see I have a bat over here. I can take my time. Worst case, the bat gets the bat gets to me. I'm just gonna, gonna do this. Now, what I can do here is look. I don't want to kill the bat, but I want to start hitting my major. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the bat safe spot. And the reason why I go in the bat safe spot instead of just going here around is that if the melee digs, I'll be able to corner safe spot it. Melee digs. I'm a corner safe spot. I'll kill the melee first. I, another thing I could do is like if ever the I could keep hitting the major. If ever the major, if ever the melee digs, uh, I could just like go back on the west side over here and pray against the pray against the bat. But uh, once again, personal preference uh, doesn't really change much. Doesn't really change much to be honest. Mage. 
Okay, magic tile, I'm gonna pre melee. And look, I can try and get a freeze on this bat so it doesn't get to me. I was actually able to get it, which is kind of cool. We take those, I'm gonna switch to my Bofa, kill the bat while uh, flicking, my, uh, flicking my melee. Then I'm gonna hit my, uh, my Nibbler safe spot tile. I'm gonna get the nib here. And then once the melee hits me, I'm gonna go back on the side. I'm gonna start hitting the, I'm gonna start hitting the major. If melee digs this time, I'm just going to stay right here. I'm just going to stay right here and I'm going to kill it. Oh, I want to take flicking to try and get it down faster. Another thing I could do is go left, kill the bat. But I, I really hate getting hit by bats. So oh, I decide to kill the melee instead. Spot, kill bat, here, mage. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get this guy. I'm gonna flick the blob. I know it saw me right now. Go back to my safe spot, finish this guy off. Now, what I could do is go right here, start, start hitting the major. Ever melee digs, we corner safe spot it. Like so. That way I can try. I can try like killing the major first. I think he's gonna go down first. Worst case, melee digs. I go on the west side. I pray melee or not even. I can just legit safe spot it. Now once it dies, there's two things I can do. I can either go back here on the west and pray against the melee, or I can step on the magic tile and pray melee. I'm gonna step on the magic tile just because it's like more fun. Right here. And then start hitting it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Step away. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Magic tile pre range. Fuck him up, 111. I know two of them are dead. It's most likely the ranger and the melees because I was using spells, which this guy is more resistant to. All right, we keep going. The magic tile here. It does. It's not really. It's not that useful. But then I can wait for. I can wait for my stacks to align. Okay, that wasn't that great, but whatever. I'm gonna go right here. I'm a great mage, so the major doesn't fuck me up. Then I'm a, then I'm a, I'm gonna kill the blob. I'm gonna kill the blob. Obviously, there's other things I could do here, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill these little guys. 141, they're all dead. They're like that. And then what I could do is step right here. Quick. Oh, too late. Too late. I was a little too late. If I I, I could have stepped right there. Um, I was too late on both the stepping out and the flick. So that could have that could have been real messy. <laughs> but if I had time, if I had had time, I could have stepped out in a bad safe spot. That way, like instead of Flicking against it like that, I could have used the, uh, I could have corner safe spotted it. Bad safe spot is, this is what I'm talking about, what I mean, bad safe spot. Gonna heal on it, because uh, I let the major hit me, sadly. Sadly, these things happen, even to the best of us. To be dead, I'm gonna switch to my Bofa, then I'm not gonna forget to properly pray this time. And we're gonna kill off uh, we're gonna kill off the major from the back with the bat safe spotted like that. Now there's a good there's a solid chance it's gonna respawn something. Like a melee. It's cool though, if it digs, we're oh see now we got a blob. So we're gonna step back here. We're gonna step back here. The blob is gonna go like this. Now, what I could do, okay? If I wanna get that bat out of the way, so I can uh, so I can just Kill the so I can just kill the major. You can pre-range and then you click on this tile and you click right back. Okay, you click right back like that. So then 
See, the bat comes into range, but it's not able to hit us. You gotta do it really quick, though, because if you do it too slow, the bat's gonna be able to hit you once, which isn't, which isn't like a huge difference, right? But it still makes a, a bit of a difference. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. And that way, that's good because then, like, because I could have just face tanked the bat right from here. I could have just, like, prayed mage, face, face tanked the bat and hit it, but that's a way to, to, to get it out of the way without, uh, without getting hit. By the bat taking zero damage, that's always better. And the reason why I wanted to do that instead of killing everything on that side first, is that now I can just either lazy flick or one tick flick my major from the side and use zero prayer, which is always the best. Be dead. Perfect. Now, we know how to deal with blob. There's too many details. Five. One of them should be dead. Okay, cool. It was the melee, so we stay here. We're good. But see how I stepped back though, because since that melee was dead, that bat would have been able to hit me if I hadn't stepped back. Although I was praying range, but still, good reflexes to have. Good reflexes to have. All right, now you know the drill. Okay, see, did you see the magic tile here is going to be useful. Now what I can do is here is like pray augury to have more chances of landing the freeze on this one, which is cool. And now from here, that, that guy's corner safe spotted. So I'm just gonna try and kill it off quickly before it digs. Which is most likely gonna work because, you know, we're one ticking with both and all that. I'm gonna step on the side here while playing range. And I just wanna get that major in range of my Bofa. So when the bat attacks, I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna start killing it off with the Bofa. Next wave is wave 48, that's a double blob wave. At the beginning of these waves, I pray augury. Just to get a better chance at get, catching the freeze on the nibblers, not have to think about them. Uh, you know. You know. Kill this guy. Little blobby. Stack 135, they should almost all be dead. Ranger was the last one standing. It's perfect. It's dead now. Switch to our Bofa. We can start attacking whatever the fuck we want. Melee digs. That's why we're in position. We're good. And we kill. Okay, mage, augury, nice freeze. So you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna legit pray melee, and I'm, I'm gonna kill the blob as fast as I can. If you have to, if you have to choose between tanking a melee or, or a blob, definitely tank the blob. We're gonna keep the mage pray up. Maybe you want to use augury and like rigor in these situations, you know, to get yourself out of it pretty fast. Okay, that guy dead. So now we good. Now we good. We back to this is another wave right now. There's just another wave right now. Kill that melee. You know what? I'm gonna heal on the melee even. I'm gonna take my time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Good. Great. We like that. Here, I'm good. I can say I can uh I can one to click. I'm gonna kill the melee first. That way I won't have to think about it. That way I won't have to think about it anymore. I'm gonna heal on these little guys. I'll be blessed. 48 is done. That was cool. 141, they're all dead. We know that. Now we're getting really close to the 50 waves. The 50 waves. The reason why they're so interesting is because that's pretty easy. Two melees, like we're good. I'm just gonna hurry up trying to get the. And then I'm going to switch back, switch to my melee prey. Okay, perfect, perfect. Wait, they're not dead yet. So this guy's going to attack me once. I'll let him attack me once. And then I'm going to go right here to finish, off my, to finish off my nibblers before they hit the pillar. Switch to my Bofa. 
This is the first time I get to demonstrate how from here you can safe spot them on both sides. That's cool. One of my melee is going to dig first because that one attacked me basically. So it, I don't know, they, they dug at the same time. Sometimes that happens because it's not a set timer actually. It's like between ish and ish kind of ticks. Now, back to the 50 waves. The 50 waves are interesting because there's going to be majors and rangers in all the, subs the, the next waves. So what you're going to want to do on these waves, okay, is you're going to start with your crystal top on instead of the ancestral top and your crystal shield on. Uh, because there's a, there's a good chance that you're going to be tanking a, a range hit uh, at the beginning of those waves. So that's why we want our crystal, uh, crystal top and our, uh, our crystal shield on at the beginning of those waves. Here, eventually you'll just know how to manipulate the melee like super well, super well. Flick, try and flick a lot more, a little more damage. Okay, so don't forget, crystal top on, crystal shield on, and now you really have to start from here. You pre mage. Let's see. Now the first thing you gotta think is. Okay, which one can attack me and where can I put myself so that only one of them can attack me? In that case, it was the range. I knew that if I was north of my pillar, I was safe. That's cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go kill my major from that side. There's something I want to teach you though, okay? It's the two-tick alternate flick. So, if you step out in the light of sight of another enemy on the same tick that... Uh, let's say like, if I step out in the light of sight of my major, major at the sa on the same tick that my ranger attacks me, so on the one, two, three... Or if I step out now, then they're going to be two ticks apart like this. So it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Look at their individual attack cycles. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Major. One, two, three, four. And you keep it in zero prayer, zero prayer flick it. One, two, one, three, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one. Four, one, four, one, four, one. But the most important part of this technique is how, how you have to step out on the first tick of the attack cycle of the mob that's currently attacking you. That's, that's basically like the most important part to be able to succeed uh, on this method. That can be very useful. You can do the same thing with melees because melees are also on a four tick attack cycle. So you can do like a ranger, a melee, a major, a melee. Uh, Ranger, Major, all that stuff. Honestly, this is also very big. Like, once you figure that out, that's, that's huge. That's huge. Obviously, I, wasn't, I didn't have to do that on the last wave. I could have just gone, like, east of my pillar, killed the Major in peace. But, you know, I thought I, I would use the occasion to show you a little technique. Pray Mage, freeze ready. Okay, so I see this guy's over there. He's going to hit me once because I want to get the freeze on my Nibblers. As soon as my major attacks me, I'm going to go right here, switch to my Bofa. As soon as my uh, ranger attacks me, I go right back down. I just wanted to get the major a little, uh, a little closer to the pillar so I could be able to hit it with my Bofa, which I am right now. Completely vugging it up. I think you can get like, a little closer because, because it doesn't change much, but the travel time, like if you're speedrunning, you want to be as close to the enemies as possible because... The damage is always calculated on a certain ticks, but it does take into account the travel time of arrows. Yeah. I'm going to heal to 99 because I love having 99 HP. I ordered some Uber Eats. That shit is almost there. I might have to take another break. Yeah. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. I can, I can afford taking breaks, so... Unlike when I'm live. So we take those. The guy is going to be exactly the same length in the end. I ordered some, um, some pad thai. Some tom yum soup. Mmm! It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Wow, we still have time. I think we got like five minutes left. I'll do a couple more waves. Once again, don't forget your crystal top and your crystal shield at the beginning. 
Okay, see magic tile, pretty cool here. Pretty cool here. I'm gonna try and catch a catch a freeze on this guy, but if I can, it's okay. Oh, I mean, I was able to catch a freeze. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the bat. And now you remember that two take I was telling you about. So there's two things I could do here. If you're not comfortable with the two take, you could just go like, you could just go like on the west side, and then um, and then uh, you know like kill the bat, tank it for a few hits. Otherwise, we can do this here. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Huh, huh, huh. Or you can just like do it regularly without like zero prayer flicking in. So basically, you just have to pay attention to their attack cycles. If you know when the one is, you know when to switch. You know when they damage you. But I'm gonna do the zero prayer because I can do it. Then maybe you're gonna be able to pick it up by watching. Four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four. Hey, let's go. Clean. Clean. We killed that one was revived, so it has half HP. So I know it was dead with a 52 HP drop. Pray mage. Okay, so now see here. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna go with my magic tile. As soon as these guys are around the pillar, more or less, I'm gonna go here. The blob's gonna be able to see me, so I'm gonna flick the blob. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill the nibbler as fast as I can. And then, just like that, magic tile. Boom! Everything is aligned. Nice. So if I hit the major from here, only the major is gonna be able to see me. I'll be able to kill it off first. That means no respawn. That means less time spent, less supplies used, and we love that. We love that shit. I could lazy flick it, of course. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Now you remember how to one tick flick. That's what we're gonna do here. So I click range one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Clean. One, two, three. One, two, three. Killing the loves like a waltz. Three. One, two, three. Call it the dance of the blobs. By the way, guys, if you're watching this guide, there's a there's an advice I always tell everybody. Okay, if you're grinding the inferno for the first time. If you made it this far and you're really determined, you know, if you made it this far in the guide, you are determined to get your cape. Don't compare yourself to other people. Don't count the amount of attempts it took you to succeed. That shit doesn't matter. It's a race against yourself. And just know that the real reward to the Inferno is not the cape. It's the skills that you acquire. I, like, I, I, I just remember the first time I went back to Dagonoth Kings after doing the Inferno. And I could easily like flick. I could kill like all three of them at the same time and just flick them. And then like it was never a problem to save spot and all that. You know what I mean? And obviously like there's a million more uh instances of uh you know applying the skills you learn in the inferno to other things but that was just the one that that was off the top of my head and um and really you should enjoy the journey because you should be proud of yourself that you're doing it yourself because a lot of people don't let's just say that so i'm gonna hit the logout button because my food is right here i'm gonna kill this guy and then we're gonna pick back up on wave 54 right now we'll take mage freeze ready Okay, I'm gonna pray range here because the ranger's gonna be able to see me. I just want to get my uh, my enabler real quick. We'll be good. So from here, I'm gonna use that little trick. You know what the bat that I told you earlier? I'll put this on and pray mage, and then I just click here, click right back here. And then I can just fuck up the bat just like that. And then that way I'll be able to kill the major without having to alternate one to flick. Or do any fancy stuff. I'm not going to use any prayer. It'll be beautiful. OK, 
Yay! I move like this. Now we see the bat didn't go around the corner, which is perfect. You can just kill the ranger like that. Lazy flick it. And once again, we won't have to do any one tick flicking between the the ranger and the blob that way. Perfect. Super recline. We love that. We love that. Kill the bat. Kill that blob. Perfect. Okay. Crystal body, crystal shield on. Magic tile, I'm gonna create range. Actually, don't no need to get a freeze or nothing. I'm just gonna try to kill this bat as fast as possible. Now, what I can do here is get into the alternate flick like that. Just so I can kill that bat. That way, I can even kill the other bat, probably, while flicking the major. Yeah, perfect. Then I'll just go save my pillar safely. Are they dead? I'm not sure. Not yet. Oh, not yet either. Again. Oh, see, I should have done this like that. Oh, no, okay, perfect. It was only one tile. I thought it was two tiles away. From the pillar because the bat could have been able to slide the between the mage and the pillar and i would have to kill like maybe tank a hit or two before killing it so we're just gonna mess it up perfect Enter next. Now, wave 56 is a double blob wave. So I'm going to pray augury at the beginning. I'm going to hope for a good spawn. And if not, it's okay. I'm going to show you guys how to deal with the, whatever they're going to throw my way. One, two, three. Four. One, two. Four. One, two, three. Four. One. Oh, there's a little thing I wanted to show you also once it died. Okay, so you see the magic tile here? I got a corner safe spotted. So you know how sometimes I, I step out like that way? Um, but technically, a, a thing that's even better to do is stepping out that way. So I'd go like one, two, three, one, two, three. And the reason why it's better is that it doesn't come around the corner. So that way I can just go right back here. If let's say there was like a melee that would dig, I was about to dig or something like that, I could just go right back here and it's back to a corner safe spot. Whereas uh, if I if I st if I stepped out that way, it would have been like one, two, three, one, two, three. You know what I mean? So let's kill it. I definitely would have preferred having more HP um, for the next wave, but it's okay. I'll be fine. So, crystal, crystal. I'm gonna pre augury. Had a good freeze there. That's a good. That, that's a good spawn. We're actually pretty spoon there. So, see why I'm stepping. I'm stepping on the magic tile that way. Look, it won't be a problem. The 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 ranger is gonna be aligned with the with the other blob, and you see like the corner of the major is blocking it from uh, getting in our way. So, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna get into a one tick flick. Between the major and the blob. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Another thing I could have done. I'll show you is i could have definitely like just gone like if you don't want a one tick flick i could have gone like this done like one flick and then i could have caught I, I like this blob would have been in range of me killing it with my bofa i don't do that just to be able to shoot but the reason why you now don't necessarily want to do that is that the major might respawn that blob anyways so you, if you kill it you there's a chance obviously like you know doing that removes some 
you know some odds of that happening um but uh there's a good chance that the major is actually going to respawn in behind it uh, him so you're going to end up in the same scenario so might as well figure out the one tick flick right away but then again this is uh more at your advantage if you don't really want to flick and you just want to flinch it because if it respawns here then you can just flinch it around the pillar and that's perfect too all right let's finish off that major I thought I was going to be able to kill the little major first. Please, I'm not going to deal too much damage. I definitely would have used my blowpipe. I said I was going to use the blowpipe as much as I can. I definitely would have used the, um, the blowpipe in that uh, scenario. More attack speed. Always an advantage. Yay! All right, I'm gonna go on my magic tile over here. Then what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right there. And then I will try. I'm just gonna pre range. Then once it attacks me, I'm gonna switch to mage just in case. Okay, I'm good though. Then I go back here. Then I go back here. We're gonna kill the melee from there. I checked another window while I was doing this. Okay, now we got an interesting stack here. Uh, Major Ranger. You're going to come across these stacks uh, in, the, in the later waves. Um, you're going to come across them a lot less if you don't use the, if you use the Magic Tile. But it's bound to happen anyways, especially with like, let's say the Major Respawns and stuff like that. So, what do you do in, uh, in these, uh, these instances? You step on the, on the middle tile. You're definitely going to wear your bow on. You need, you need to wear like your long range weapon. You step in the middle tile, and then you pray against the one that's in the back. So in this case, I'm going to pray range. And I'm going to click on the ranger. And as soon as my character is standing on that tile, is when I'm going to start the one tick flick with the major. Okay, so it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, since technically here I want to kill the major first. It's a one tick flick, but after the first two flicks, you have two empty, you have two empty ticks where you can do other actions. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to start with range. Click the ranger one two three four and i'm gonna click the major in these two empty ticks and then i can resume then i can resume my one tick flicking that way i'm gonna kill the major first i will have to deal with the the respawn the respawn ranger or whatever the hell else Right. So this guy. Absolutely no stress if it digs, because I'm just gonna corner safe spot it. If it does, right here. Corner safe spot. Yay, 58. Keep it up, same thing. Okay, now what I could try here is try to catch a freeze on that melee. Oh, I caught the freeze on the melee. See, that's really cool. That's really cool. And it's gonna happen a lot. Like if you're if you're, if you're Max Gear, it's gonna happen a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna gun it down with my Bofa. Otherwise, what I can do just to be safe. One, two, three, four. The reverse lazy flick. 
That way, if ever it gets out of the freeze, it's most likely not going to be on the same tick. I mean, I'll, I'll be able to just, uh, I'll be able to just um, protect against it while killing the major like that. We're going to kill the major now, and that ranger, we're going to be a gravy. Daisy flick the ranger while killing the bat. Or kill the ranger first if you want. That's really up to you. You get to kill what you want. That's the beauty of this game. Almost. Almost what you want. All right, fifty nine. So I'm gonna stun on my magic tile. I'm gonna kill the. I'm gonna kill the bat real quick. Then I'll pray against the melee. Now there's a little flick that's nice here. So on the first stick that this guy's gonna attack, I'm gonna go. Look, I'm gonna go like this. It attacks, mage, range, and then I can go get that nibbler like that. It was not necessary though. Definitely don't chase the nibbler if you don't have to. Like see right now, I kind of put myself in danger. I'm gonna do the reverse lazy flick with the ranger. Kill the bat. So yeah, definitely don't do that. Like normally, if it's your if it's your first cave, you're going for your first cave. You are not chasing that nibbler. You are not chasing that nibbler. Okay, you're. It's forbidden. It's forbidden. I just wanted you to. I just wanted to show you that little flick because it's always really satisfying when you pull it off. When you start from the corner and then melee hits you, you you click there, you switch to mage, and then you switch to range, and you're protecting against everything. Honestly, if you're able to pull that off, it's always so satisfying. But normally, what you would have done, you would have stayed on your magic tile. You would have killed the you would have killed the the melee first, and then you would have switched over to the this side here with the with the ranger there, and you would have gotten the you would have gotten that. Now, what I would do here, if you're not comfortable with getting the two tick alternate flick in, I just go you just go here, knowing to step on the corner safe spot. Otherwise, you could have stepped on the bat safe spot, flick both the the ranger and the major while keep hitting the the major, and then corner safe spot when the melee digs. But otherwise, you just come on the side here, and then we go back like that. And then we go back like that. I'm gonna kill the bat first because I feel like it. Okay, guys, so 60 waves, 60, 63 is like the hardest waves in the inferno. Um, you definitely, you're, I'm, you're gonna pray augury from here on at the beginning of the wave. So at the beginning of every single wave, all the way up to 65, you're gonna pray augury at the beginning, uh, be just to put all every chance on your side. And uh, yeah, let's go. Not too bad, magic tile, pray range, pray against the blob. Now on 60 up, guys, you do not chase. You do not chase the nibblers. That's just forbidden. But here it's actually not too bad. Like I could actually go get it if I wanted to. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Because it wasn't actually too bad, right? So then I'm gonna go here on that side. I'm gonna get ready, and I'll get to show you how the 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 melees dig differently on that side, okay? Because when it, they dig on that side, it's that square that's on you. But look, look at how they dig on that side. See, it's the other corner that's on you. So you have to step. You have to step like lower. You can't just like re corner safe spot them like regularly like you do on the other side. You have to step on that side if you're standing in the middle on that tile. And if you're standing on that tile, it's going to be on the tile below the one I'm standing right now. So they dig a little differently on that side. And it's good to, it's good to take note of that. I'm glad I was able to show you. Uh, so you don't get taken by surprise, whatever it happens to you eventually. So now what I'm going to do, since the Jalim cut has already been revived, I'm going to kill it first before the Major. That way it'll be, you know, I'll have my peace of mind. that ranger all 
Okay, so uh, we can kill this guy from uh, from over here if you want. That was an easy, that was an easy wave, 60. Obviously 60 is not the hardest, but it was quite easy for sure. Okay, mage, augury. Once again, the magic tile. See how freaking useful that thing is. See how useful that thing is. If I didn't have the magic tile, I would be dealing with both a ranger and a, both a ranger and a melee. Now I can just vibe out. Now I can just vibe out, wait for this bat to come around. Oh, oh, that was not good. That was not good. That's a mistake on my part. That's a mistake on my part for sure, for sure, for sure. That's a mistake on my part. I got a little greedy because I wanted to go save that. Uh, I wanted to go save that pillar, and I, I misclicked. I misclicked pretty much, uh, but it's fine. I survived. I survived. <laughs> I survived. But normally, you would have waited for the bat to come around the corner before hitting it. Basically, that was my mistake. That was my mistake. But it's okay. It's okay because I survived. So I'm just gonna kill that major. After that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the bat that comes to me. Obviously, like my my pillars are full health. Like I really. I really, I'm, I'm just OCD by my pillars, you know what I mean? Definitely, like, I did not need to do that. In any case, I did not need to do that at all. But it's fine. You know, I'm a max main. Got some decent gear. The odds of me surviving that, even with the misclicks, were pretty damn high. Uh, considering my HP was full, too. But we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Now, I'm going to go save my pillar. I'm going to step away a little bit. Then we're gonna, just going to flick, flick against the blob. One... Okay, perfect. We're gonna try and get as much HP as we can before the next wave. Now, like if you if you're learning and you're bringing two bastions, you could sip a sip uh, before sixty-two or sixty-three. Okay. Uh, I don't, because I don't really need to. And I was bringing, like, way too many Bastions for absolutely no reason. That's just one of my little, like, uh, yeah, like a little OCD thing. Like, I'd rather have a lot more than not enough. You know, I'm always afraid I'm going to run out. Magic Tile, free range. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that, because maybe they can hit me here. 141, they're all dead. That's good. Go back here. Free augury, get the freeze ready. Okay, that's that's a little less spoon. That's a little less spoon. See what I'm, what I'm gonna do? What I always said. Just in case in case of uh in case of um, blob and melee, you definitely pray against the melee and you tank the blob. For real. Like that's literally the best thing you could do here. And then we're gonna kill the blob. We're gonna try and flick it. What I could do before killing it is I could go here to like bring it closer. That way I can kill it on the corner where I'm going to be able to get all three little blobs at the same time. That's always better. We know that. Maybe flick a little augury here. You know, so you don't take uh, as much damage. You can bring him down as fast as possible. Oh, that little bastard hit me for... That little bastard hit me for a lot. Okay, I see you. I see you. Alright, so what we're going to do here is... Uh, we're going to... Um, I could kill off the ranger here. I could start by just killing off the ranger. Uh, but let me just try something though. Let me try and do this. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna get into a one tick flick. Uh, you know, ranger major stack like I showed you a couple ways earlier. Easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time heal on the bats. I'm not I'm not in a hurry. If you want, you can like take off some of your gear. If you want, you can take off some of your gear. Perfect. So, I could heal. I could heal. Because uh, uh, you want to be 99 for 63 for sure. So remember, pray against the one in the back. Click the one in the back.
I don't want to kill it either. One, two, three, four. I don't want to kill it either because I want to kill the mage first, right? I was probably going to die anyway, so. Unless I splash. Ah, I killed it. Okay, whatever. It's okay. I'm just going to kill this guy. Worst case, the ranger's going to respawn. We're going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> Ain't nothing to worry about. By the way, sorry if the guy, the, the guy was spliced in a couple of places and all that. I've just been getting a couple uh, text messages that I've had to, to answer. But it's still the same run. It's still uh, nothing changes. Nothing changes. It's just some IRL responsibilities sometimes. Uh, you know. You gotta, you gotta prioritize. So, 63 next. Wish me luck. We're gonna hope for a good spawn. We're gonna hope for a good spawn. Okay, that's kind of annoying though. So look, look what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna pray against the. I'm gonna pray against this guy. And then what I'll do is, I'm gonna do the two take alternate flick. Okay. So as soon as the the melee hits me. So now these guys are two ticks apart. I'm gonna kill the melee. So I stepped out as soon as the melee attacked me. That way, I, the the if I was gonna be uh, there was gonna be a two tick interval between the. Um, the the melee and the ranger so that was a quite annoying spawn honestly another thing that i could have done of course is get on the west side of the pillar and get a, a one tick flick going between the the major and the the blob the thing is i would have had to wait a little bit otherwise the like the the ranger would have been able to um, to slide by and then i would have been in a pickle so what i did is pretty much that was the best way to solve this wave in my opinion although maybe if i look back i could have found like some other things but I'm pretty sure that was it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal on this guy. Kill it slowly. Oh, see, it respawns right away. So now I'm gonna go over there. I'm just gonna kill these blobs. I'm gonna take care of these two blobs, and then uh, and after that. Never mind your pillar, guys. You won't need it. You won't need it anymore. This is the hardest wave in the Inferno, technically. This is the hardest wave in the Inferno, technically. So I'm going to pray against the blob. Okay, RIP Pillar, break against the one in the back, which is range. Click on the one in the back when your character steps heal, start the one tick flick, or just do one, two, three, four, and now you start two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So, so far we made it through the worst part of the Inferno, guys. 64 can get tricky. It's a uh, ranger, major, and two melees, but it's nowhere near, uh, nowhere near as bad as uh, 61. Through uh, through uh, sixty three, uh, we got a blob. He respawned a blob. I don't even care because I'm one tick flicking, so I know the blob's not gonna hit me. And worst case, it's gonna hit me once, maybe, but um, it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna kill off the blob first because honestly, like I like I like keeping the ranger for last because if you know, you misclick, you take some damage. The, the Ranger is like my favorite mob to heal on and everything. You know, it's like safe. You know, you can fully pray against it without really risking to take any damage. And, uh... And I see. Took a little bit of damage from that guy. So I'm just gonna heal on it. We're gonna move on to the next wave. Of course, we know the drill. Hope for the best. Magic tile, pre range over here. That's perfect. Look what I'm gonna do. Look what I'm gonna do in this case. So as soon as the as soon as the range attacks, I'm gonna step away. 
Switch to mage so it doesn't hit me. Switch back to range. Now, I'm going to try and kill these guys as fast as possible, okay? I got plenty of supplies, so I'm going to use rigor. I'm going to use all, every trick in the book to get them down as fast as I can. Otherwise, I could get them into, into a one, two tick flick like that. So as soon as the ranger attacks, I get in range of the melee. Now they're two ticks apart. You can do the zero player thing, or you can just alternate between them. And then from here, I'm going to do the two tick uh, alternate between the ranger and the major. So I stepped out as soon as the ranger attacked. They're two ticks apart. I can do it using zero prayer. Everything is good. I love this league, honestly. When I, I remember when I figured out how to do this, I was like, oh my god, that's so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Uh, so we're, we're not tripping because worst case, if the melee, if the melee digs, I just go uh, on the west side of the pillar. And everything's going to be safe spot. Everything's going to be good. There is no stress. If I wanted to, of course, if I really want to get my major before that, uh, I could pray uh, rigor. Uh, you know, put every chance on my side. And then I'm going to go right here. Start hitting the melees. If they dig, corner safe spot. Same old things. Same old thing, just a different wave. Now, it dug, but I knew, I knew it died. It's just that the, sometimes like the damage doesn't have time to register before they dig. But if you saw the XP drop, you'll know. You will know, like this one too. See, I had damaged it before. Now, let's go kill this guy. Normally, I would still, like, since it's... I would have the reflex to go, like, over there first. And then, you know, bring it back closer so that I'd be in a better position as I start of the next wave. But I'll be fine. I'm definitely going to try and heal to 99 if I can. Because uh, better save than sorry. Uh, next wave is two rangers, one major. So the, the what you what you need to think about is really like where the fuck can I stand so that only either the major or the rangers can attack me. So that's what we're gonna do. See right now, right here, boom. Only rangers from that side. I'm gonna wait for the major to get closer. Actually, I don't really have to wait for it to get closer. I'm gonna go get my nibbler. Although once again, that's really not necessary. I don't need that pillar anymore. This is the last wave where you really have to to worry about uh, flicking any kind of mobs. After that, next wave, 66 is two majors. And after that, it's Jads and Zuck time. Which means we're uh, we're getting really close to that cave. So I'm going to kill major first, of course. So that way no respawns and anything. Okay. Kill that. Red around the corner. All right, now I don't have to put my crystal shield or my arm atop uh, because uh, there's not going to be any more rangers. Uh, I can kill my nibblers just because, like I said, OCD things, OCD things, trying to keep them up. Now on wave 66, there's something very particular. What I do first at the beginning of wave 66, you click the logout button. That way you can uh, position yourself before jazz and all that. And at the end of wave 66, when both the, the, healer, the majors die, you have to be more than one tile away from uh, the pillar because they are going to collapse. And uh, if you're standing right next to them, they deal a lot of damage. You definitely don't want to be in that uh, in that situation. Now, another thing is since the majors can respawn each other, each other, they can only do it once. But still, you kind of want to get them both like low HP, but not kill them right away. So you see this, this guy pretty close to dying, but not dead yet. And then uh, I'm going to get the other one, of course. You don't want to miss a flick. Like right now, I'm one tick flicking. You can lazy flick, of course, if you want to, if you're more comfortable. But you don't want to miss a flick because if they both hit you for max, then you could die right here after all this effort. After making it this far, you could just die like that. So, um, so yeah, you kind of you kind of don't want to risk it, especially if you got as much supplies as I do right now. I definitely don't need to be doing that. So you just force a habit and stuff like that. Okay, so hey, we made it this far, and it's Jazz Plus Zuck time, baby. 
that's uh that's the the easy part i don't know man for some people it's the easy part um a single chat is definitely easy you know we, we've all done jad before because you need to sacrifice and show a fire cave to be able to do the inferno so most likely you did now i don't have a lot to say uh for jad i'm going to show you how to flick the flick the the attacks um uh and i'm gonna show you how to run under to be able to heal on the on the minions without using any of your brews and stuff like that now i always uh change my quick prayer to redemption and rigor because that's where you're going to be using on the zuck healers but sometimes you know like you just forget in the heat of the moment so i do it right now because i'm not going to be using my quick prayer for anything else during uh, these fights uh depending on your supplies you can or not use rigor you can or not pot up in that in that case i definitely can pot up technically like i could i could do like i do like a sip of sarah brew and then like a sip of super restore and then like as soon as i start the jad fight i'm gonna um, i'm gonna use a sip of bastion so let's hop let's hop let's hop let's hop make sure you have your game sounds on of course that always helps and in this case i'm gonna activate rigor because why not but you don't have to this single chat okay so for the range attacks range attack as soon as you hear that sound you can turn off your prayer boom it's when you hear the tsh, that's when you can turn off your prayer Mage attack, as soon as you see the fireball, you can turn off your prayer. Fireball, prayer off. Sound off. Now take your time tagging these guys. It's not a race, although here it's a really good uh, opportunity for a blood barrage. So instead of turning it off, when the healers are up, you just switch to your melee prey. So mage, as soon as you see the fireball, back to melee prey. Now you go about one, one square away from it. And then as soon as it attacks, you go on the other side, you pray melee because it can melee you. That was, that was kind of sloppy, actually. I was trying to show you something good. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. Because I'm not satisfied with what I, what, I, what I just showed you. Really not, actually. You can tag this guy, too. Uh, just so you can see, like, exactly where its hitbox is. So as soon as it attacks, you run over, you switch to the attack style, and then you switch to melee. Just in case it, it, it um, for some reason, like, it gets dragged super long and, and its attack cycle is reset by the time you step to the other side. But now what that does is, if ever I had lost HP, right, to the healers, I could switch to my blood spells like that, and I could just, like, heal, heal, on, the, heal on the healers. So now I'm just going to kill it off. I'll oh, see, I, I, it would have been better if I hadn't super restored right here, because, like, next wave, I'm going to use, like, a, a Sarah Brew... A super restore in a bastion so technically i right now i just wasted some some prayer points but i mean look at my supplies look at my supplies if it's your first time you kind of want to make it to zuck with uh four super restores of four boots it is dead oh shit wait no Oh, right on time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had forgotten to, to hit the lockout button. <laughs> I mean, it would have been... I would have been able to pull it off, but... Definitely do hit the lockout button at the beginning of the wave. So you have time to position yourself for triples. And all that. So guys, triples is the same as, uh, as Jad. It just goes faster. Uh, the only advice I can give you is... Uh, um, definitely pray rigor. Take your time uh, tagging the healers when they do spawn and focus first and foremost you focus on flicking the jad so you really focus on the jad's attacks and all that um and that's about it that's about it i'm gonna show you how to safe spot some of the healers if ever you got more than one on you so that only one of them is able to hit you and otherwise it's really just like a faster jad so wish me luck i'm gonna sarah brew like i said i'm gonna take a sip of super restore i will hop Click the logout button at the beginning of the wave, of course. Divine Bastion, Rigor, and we're good to go. Okay, so we got range here. Mage. You don't need to turn off your prayer. I'm doing it kind of like, I guess, for the flex. I don't know. Just force a habit for me. 
force a habit for me. See, this is good because only only one of the healers is gonna be on me anyway, so I don't have to do like these little tricks. I don't have to do with these little tricks to to get them off me. So you can definitely tank at one healer. For the first jet, you can definitely tank a healer, so don't worry about it at all. Just focus on flicking your prayer. Range. 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 Hello? I thought we were supposed to flick for jet. <laughs> Mage. Range. Take a sip of super restore. Mage. Range. That was a perfect. That was perfect for uh, perfect for a uh, blast. Okay, so now, see what I did. I, I think I did that to run under, but it. That's the trick I wanted to show you. So look, I'll I'll just I'll just mess up my my healer stack so I can show you again. Oh well, it just did it on the uh, on the on the side. Okay, so I'm putting myself in the middle here. So so see how they can all attack me here. So if I step back a couple uh, a couple uh, tiles like that, I'll do it again. Only one of them can attack me now. So basically, you just like step back one tile at a time until only one of them can attack you. Towards the middle like that. It was a, a bit of a sloppy way to show you guys how to do it, but I kind of forgot about it until uh, I was going to do a run under. But that's actually a lot safer, uh, especially if it's your first cape and all that. Okay, okay. That guy attacking me hard right now. These healers dealing damage right now. It's okay, I'll be fine. I'll heal everything on the... I'll heal everything on the on the on the last Jad's uh, healers, so we'll be fine. Could be dead now. Wow, they really hit me hard. You know what? I'm actually gonna fucking brew up. I'm actually gonna brew up. I'll brew up. So I still got plenty. Four brews, like I said, that's what you want to have on uh, on Zuck. I'm definitely safe. I'm step away one tile from him. Let me tag them all. Tag all. Okay. Now again, instead of turning off here, what you can do is switch to to your melee prey. Although also although definitely like you're most likely gonna want to just uh, keep your prayers up and tank the the healers. So now I heal on the I heal on the healers while flicking uh, jets attack. So it's not to use any prayers either. Of course, if your supplies are good, and you don't want to risk it. I definitely respect that. Uh, you should always better save than sorry. Always better save than sorry. Now these guys have a pretty good magic uh, defense. So you might want to do like some takeoffs. You know, take off the gear that gives you like negative, uh, negative mage. And then once it's over, and you're 99 HP, put your crystal gear back on, and you kill the last Jad. And guys, we made it to Zuck. We made it to Zuck. All right, now I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking during uh, Zuck. I'm gonna explain real quick the mechanics if you're fully unfamiliar with it. So Zuck is a big mob. I think he's got like 1500 HP or something like that. 1500, 1200 HP, probably 12 or 13, anyway, something like that. 
So, how it works is there's a shield, right, that protects you from his attack. You want to stay behind that shield at all times. Uh, these tiles are the safe spot tiles. So, this is where it's safe to attack Zuck while behind the shield, okay? So, when the fight starts, the shield is either going to go left or right, okay? If it's going left, you click on that tile, you go far left, you don't wait for the shield, you go over there, you start hitting Zuck right away. If it goes right, you go over there, you start hitting Zuck right away. Now, the shield is going to go back and forth, okay? So as soon as you're here, you're hitting Zuck. When Zuck moves his legs, leg to attack, you'll see there's like an animation of him moving his leg to attack. That's when it's safe for you to go to the next safe spot, start attacking him. So the shield is going to go back and forth. When it does one back and forth and it's back in its initial position, there's a set that's going to spawn. A set comprises of a range, a, range, uh, a range mob and a mage mob. So the range is going to be here. The mage is going to be on that side. It's all, they're always going to be on the same side. So what you're going to do is... If let's say you're on the, uh, it starts on the mage side, you're gonna tag the major. You're gonna, you're gonna go over here, hit the major. Once you're in the, once you're in the range of the ranger, you're just gonna try and DPS the hell out of the ranger as much as you can while keeping your mage prey up. Now, there's a way to flick the sets. Okay, that's why you're normally you would just tank the ranger and try and kill it as much as possible while praying while praying mage. I will show you how to tag the sets so that they're two ticks apart and you're able to flick them while doing other things on Zuck. It doesn't mean that's what you're going to do for the first time. I obviously have a bunch of other guides where I do Zuck differently. So I definitely encourage you once again to go check out the Infernal Guide playlist um, in the section below. Um, so I'm just going to rearrange my inventory because that's how I like it. I have this like that, this like that. Uh, I keep my blowpipe and my shield here because I use the blowpipe to tag the sets because that's what I know. That's what I know. Uh, that's how I know how to, to tag them two ticks apart. So once the first set is um, is uh, spawned, you have three minutes and 30 until a second set spawn. Now you're like, really? So, you know, like there's bound to be another set three minutes and 30 later. Not necessarily. The timer stops. When Zuck is below 600 HP, so 599 HP and below, the whatever is left of the timer is going to be paused. Okay, so once that is paused, you have all the time of the uh, in the world that you want to finish off the mage. That's why you're not going to kill the mage right away. So you're going to kill the range mob, and then you're going to go back to Zuck to try and get it below 600 HP as fast as possible, so you have as much time left on your timer. Now, once you're below 600, the the timer is paused. Uh, we finish off the mage, and then after that, the next phase of the fight is uh, on 480 HP below, so 479. Uh, there's a Jad that's going to spawn. Now, once the Jad spawns, it adds a minute and 45 to the reminder of the timer that you had. Uh, so you're going to see, I'm most likely going to either wait for a set before Jad or wait, wait for a set before the healers. Now, once Jad is up, you have the rest of the first timer plus a minute 45 to kill it before there's another set that spawns. Most likely on your first game, once Jad is down, is down you're going to want to wait for another set before entering the next phase of the combat, which happens at 240 HP. Now, at 240 HP, there's uh, there's healers that are going to spawn in the river here. You definitely want to, you definitely want to like, keep, like you want, you want to trigger that phase. You want to hit him below 240 HP on either one of the sides. That way, the shield is going to go from left to right, and you're going to be able to tag all of them at once. Whereas if you, if let's say like, you trigger the healer phase from the middle and it's going that way, then like you're only going to be able to tag these two healers. And these three healers, and these three healers are going to have the, the time to heal Zug by like a shit ton. You don't want that. So, uh, then that's about it. Uh, when the healer phase starts, you really have to keep up with the shield. You can't just go to the next safe spot when he moves his legs because he attacks twice as fast. So, you have to like, you have to like click in between the shield really to just really keep up with it. And you're, you're always trying to stay a little ahead of the shield. Now, I know I'm just saying like a bunch of things and uh, it kind of makes no sense but you'll see uh just try and take mental note and just watch the fight as it goes i'm not going to be doing too much talking while killing it uh but hopefully it can still be uh, an example that you can study and uh, maybe figure something out some things out now like i said rede redemption quick pray i'm gonna do the the good old uh, sour brew uh super restore and then when i hop i'm gonna use my divine bastion and we'll be ready to go guys wish me luck and uh, yeah good luck uh, good luck to you guys Keeping up and all that learning. Okay. Divine Bastion, you turn on your rigor. Now there's a little trick, okay? During the cutscene, during the cutscene at the beginning, this cutscene, you can right click Zuck like that, okay? And then you can just get ready to attack it. So as soon as it's over, you attack and then it's left, so I go left. Now, pay attention to the leg. 
Leg moves, I'm ready to go to the next safe spot. So we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a set the spawns next time that the shield uh, is on the left. With the bubble, you can get like a few more attacks in uh, than with the Tebow, but it's still kind of risky, you know. You can just like treat it like the Tebow. So see, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna attack my major here, and I'll switch to my blowpipe and, and look at the attack cycle of the major. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. So if you hit it on the two, they're gonna be two ticks apart. If you hit the other mob on the on the second tick of the first mob's attack cycle, they're gonna be two ticks apart. So now I'm gonna try and kill my ranger as as fast as I can while flicking them. That way I take zero damage. Normally though, you'd just be like normally you'd just be uh tanking the ranger uh while uh, while killing the while killing it. While praying against the mage is what I want to say. So now I'm going to try and get this guy uh, below 600 as fast as possible so I have as much time left on my timer. That's why I'm not touching the Major right now. I don't really care. My priority is getting uh, Zug below 600 HP. Damn. Both are noodling right now. That's so annoying when it happens. <laughs> 250 KC in and I'm still extremely annoyed whenever both are Tebow noodle. Oh my god, it's annoying. Oh my god, it's annoying. But it's alright. It's not too bad, actually. We're gonna get below 200 HP. Uh, 600 HP, my bad. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? Okay, that should be it. Okay, so I'm at 597 right now, so the set is... The set is... Uh, the timer is paused. I'm going to get my Major down. Now you definitely don't want to, you want to make sure that you're not getting in below, uh, below 480 while the, the Major is still up. With your bow fire, Tebow, you can hit the major from that uh, that uh, safe spot there. You can get a few extra hits in. You cannot from from that side here. You cannot hit the the major with your blowpipe. So if you were thinking about using your blowpipe, don't do that. Not from here. You're gonna get dragged out. I've died to that a couple of times for sure. This one's gonna be dead, hopefully. Okay, now we we go back to hitting our uh, our Zuck. Of course, uh, now is like perfect time to, to you know possibly like uh, pot up if ever you 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 lost some HP. Maybe pop a little stamina potion, and then a 480, aka right now, this is when Jad spawns. Jad, you want to tag it soon? You want to tag it really fast? Otherwise, you're going to hit your shield for a lot, and you want to, you want to keep your shield up, preferably. Now, we're just, going to, we're just going to flick the Jad. It's the same. It's a good old Jad, just like any other Jad. It's like one of the, one of the triple Jads. It's a, it's a Jad with three healers. Now, these guys, you cast a Blood Barrage to get all of them at once. What you can do is you can flick, but you don't have to. You can really tank them. But like me, I flick Jad and the healers like that. But you can really, really tank them otherwise. That's why you have supplies. That's why you have brews and stuff like that. Now, that was a relatively fast Jad. That was a relatively fast Jad, so I could technically, like, probably proc my healer phase right away. But I'm going to teach you guys uh, good habits, and uh, we're just going to get him down to as close as we can to 240. So, probably, like, around 300, because if it's around 300, then you don't want to risk, like, accidentally proccing it. So I'm going to try and get him as close as I can to 300, to 240, whatever.
Okay, see, that's perfect. Now, now I'll wait for a set. So I'll wait for another set because you don't want a set spawning during the healers. That's like absolute chaos. Uh, although in that case, like I said, I probably wouldn't have had to necessarily wait for it. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bofa didn't noodle that much. But better safe than sorry, honestly. Plus, I got, I got hella supplies still. So, um, so I'm definitely not nervous. I'll drink a, I'll drink a Bastion. I'll drink a Bastion right now. Uh, actually, I could even drink like a Divine Bastion because I know how to flick the sets too. So I'm not, I know I'm not gonna take any damage. And uh, you definitely wanna, I could, I could have drank like a regular Bastion, uh, if, in the case where you're not like flicking them, and then uh, you're just tanking the ranger. It's good to have that extra defense and all that, and that extra range to be able to get it down as fast as possible. So now we're just waiting, we're just waiting. There's a timer uh, plugin for, um, for Zuck. I just never used it because I always use just like my guts like that. And uh, so far, they've been serving me well. So I just, whenever I, I tell myself I'm gonna use them, I just keep forgetting. <laughs> like I forget to turn it on, so I gave up. I gave up, I gave up, I gave up. Said should spawn any second now. We're like 30 seconds away. I don't know. <laughs> See, I definitely would have had time to, to go through the healer phase, but you know, better safe than sorry. Okay, so there it is. I'm gonna get this guy. Then I'm gonna get the major and I'll show you I'll show you how you normally do this if you were to tank them. Because now they're on the same take. So I'd put my crystal shield over there. I put my crystal shield over there. Oh my god, I hate tanking them. It's been so long. Then I would go back here, switch to my 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 Bofa, trying to hit it as much as I can. Oh my god, it's hitting me so hard. The bastard. Okay, so it's dead, so we good. No 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 no! Oh my god, I did not want to do that. Oh my god, I got so lucky. Oh my god, I got so lucky. I'm so not used to do it that way. That would have been so bad. So now I want to get that major down as fast as possible. Dude, that would have been so bad if I had prog the healer phase with the major. I mean, it would have been all right, but that's definitely not what I'm trying to show you guys. So now we're trying to kill this guy ASAP. Bring a Bastion, go all in. Hello? Looking for want to buy hits? Want to buy hits? Want to buy hits? Like moves, go to the next, next safe spot. Okay, so from here, let me try and prog the, the phase, the healer phase. Oh, perfect. So I switched to my blow pipe, put on redemption. And then you're gonna tag you want to tag them as fast as possible. So it's always two tiles hit, two tiles hit, hit two tiles hit, 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 and then you can step away a little further than than you. No! Oh my god, that was so close. I almost fucked that up. Hard to explain. Like talk at the same time as doing this sometimes. Two tiles hit, two tiles hit. You can use your low vibe specs to keep your health up. You don't want to rely on your redemption 100%. So if you're around like 10 HP, you definitely want to brew up, okay? Because they can max hit for 10, and it's so annoying when that happens. It's actually so annoying when that happens. Oh, see, it actually worked, but... Fine. You can switch your Bofa sometimes. Bofa can hit them from there, so that's the advantage. I'm gonna proc my, put, my, put my Redemption back on, switch my Blowpipe again. You want to stay ahead of the shield, not behind the shield? That's... Behind the shield is like riskier. That's cool. It, it, it didn't even heal to like 500. Now I got to keep up with the shield like I told you on that last phase. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal up. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to start hitting Zuck. Get my Bastion up. So since I waited for a set before, the, most likely, since I was really clutch at like tagging my, uh, my healers, I'm not going to get another set. But there's a possibility. If it decides to just noodle out of control, there's a possibility that I'll see another set. Uh, it's something you really got to be always ready for. 
Come on, man, Bofa, don't do this to me. Not in front of the homies like that. Not in front of the homies like that. Hey, really? That's terrible. That's terrible, man. Start hitting. A little better. A little better? No, not even. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, there it is. There's my set. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with that. So I'm gonna flick it here, okay? Two, three, four, one, 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 two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, no! I thought, I thought he got me there for a second. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, that was kind of sweaty. <laughs> Doing it quietly and talking while doing it is really two different games. Okay, so I'm a best sip of Bastion, and then I'm good. I only have the Major up. So then it's pretty much it's pretty much just a matter of uh, keeping the Mage Prey up, following the shield, hitting Zuck whenever we can. And that's it. That's, that, sounds like a, that sounds like a first cape. Hey, both of us treating me, treat me horribly today, guys. That's terrible. And we got it. 250, guys. What an occasion. A quarter of a thousand Inferno KC on this account. Let's go. So this is how we do, man. Uh, once again, don't forget, guys. Check me out on twitch.tv slash jirlola1. I'm a full-time streamer. It's literally my job. So I appreciate all the follows. All the, all the viewers, all the subs, all the donos, all that good stuff. Uh, don't forget to drop a like, a little thumbs up on YouTube, a comment, literally anything. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for listening. Uh, 222, baby. Ciao, gang, best gang. And I will see you around. Good luck on your grind.